Sisterhood to me is vulnerability, openness, transparency, and trust. Uh, sisterhood to me is a buddy with no judgment. We love it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I it's think. true. Like it's like a it's a buddy. Like it's someone. It's like a built-in bestie that you can yeah. like tell everything to. Um, stop. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs>24 and I'm from Kuwait. This is my sister. I'm Leanne. I'm 27 even though I hate to admit it. I feel like Corona stole a year and I should be 26 but I'm 27. I agree. I have a podcast called Got You. Got You on air on Instagram. My slogan is really cool people doing really cool things and I just bring together people that are like-minded, that have a lot to share, that are pushing the boundaries. I would say I'm most passionate about people and making sure everyone feels seen, heard, and has a place in this world. I'm also super passionate about conversation and the power that conversation has. At the end of the day, people say it's like a bit of an art and what really fulfills me on a deep level, um, just that human connection. And um, yeah, like just, just being vulnerable and putting love really high on the list of things uh, in, in, in terms of the way in which we operate in this world. There's such a beauty in being vulnerable. Like when I, when I first moved to New York and I literally knew no, no one there, barely had any furniture in my apartment, I was like, wow, I've never been more out of my comfort zone and than in this moment. Mm. Um, but that's when all like, the good stuff started to happen. That's true. Yeah. You threw yourself into the deep end and I think that's so cool. I have a brand called Claudette. So it's called Claudette the brand, Claudette for short. Claudie, if you like really know the character well. And I started it around two and a half, three years ago when I was living in New York. It's a streetwear brand. All the designs are like hand drawn by me on my iPad. And then the graphics are all put together with like really cool like witty sayings. When I started Claudette, I feel like I just wanted to find a way to express myself because I just want to encourage people to be vulnerable at the end of the day. And vulnerability is something I feel like I'm still also working on. Yeah, it's um, tough. And I just wanted to show kind of the world that we are all more similar than we are different. Mm. Um, and I think that's a very important point because especially in a time like right now, yeah. with so many opinions and like, whether it's cancel culture opinions, um, things that are happening politically, it makes us seem like we're different or we're taking sides, but at the core of it all, we're extremely similar. We actually go yeah. through fairly similar, similar experience. experiences yeah. in life. Definitely. Yeah. No, and yeah, definitely. And that connected. I feel like Leanne, uh, by, she was my first guest on the show because she pushed the boundaries and she did something that was so out of the ordinary. I feel like I knew no one in my immediate circle, let alone my wider network that was doing anything like her. So um, stop, in January, stop, stop. she really helped, helped push me to launch. And I thought there's no better first guest uh, than Leanne to talk about what she's done. It was so good far. times. Good yeah. times. We've always kind of been two peas in a pod growing up. A lot of the times, people think that we're twins or that we're closer in our age than we are. There's a three year age gap, but I don't think anybody would really know. They won't, but people have been like, Oh wait, hey is older. Yeah, they're like, you give off older energy. And they'll go to them like, no, you're older. So it's just like this thing where we, we thankfully uh, like a lot of the same things and we kind of pick up where each other leave off in a way. So Leanne does things with clothing and then they speak and then I literally speak through conversation and talk about emotions. So I feel like we fill in each other's blanks, if you will. We finish each other's sentences, no, sandwiches. We always have been a little creative. We used to like put on shows and choreograph different dances. We'd always kind of stay moving, stay active, stay creative. And uh, my mom really encouraged that within us. She'd like let us, you know, um, explore different things when we were younger, um, explore our talents. We would literally like, literally put on like, like, like theatrical. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory shows and I would direct it and Hay would be the main character yeah. and we'd have script and we would like force our neighbors to come and watch the show yeah. so I think yeah like you said growing up like in Kuwait and then also bits in the UK yeah. um, we were left with a lot of time to just like yeah. me and you just make things up make and, things and up. try and have a good time yeah. yeah and I think that manifests in uh, and what we do now. We like to bring people together. We like to, uh, we inject a lot of color and vibrancy into everything we do, whether it's in conversation or in clothing.
think we're also like super proud to be like Arab. Yeah. Yes. Arabia. Yes, yes. Yeah. We want to put the region on the map and what I mean is a great place to start. I mean, these people like in this Arab world, they deserve a platform. They deserve their work to be seen, to be appreciated. As important as it is to have this like amazing global audience, I think it's also important to showcase like where I came from, which, mm. which is Kuwait, which is the Middle East. Um, I am an Arab female. I think uh, obviously the region is more than capable of sustaining a beautiful, thriving network in and of itself. Just like how international voices mm. and uh, international culture and international art have been um, so readily adopted by us and ingested by us uh, you know, for the longest time, I think also we can give the international community a chance to see what we're doing, to take um, and to learn and to listen and to observe what's going on in this region. I wouldn't say we keep it as like a bubble just for us, but I would say if you want to come and you want to see what we're up to and yeah, like Leanne said, tune in, yeah, pull up and, uh, and enjoy and, and appreciate and participate. I'm kind of an anxious person and I think pre-corona that was kind of masked with like going out, being in different countries, mm. focusing on travel more. So that kind of got pushed back in the subconscious. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And I think a lot of people can relate, just being very stagnant. Some of those things kind of came up and I was like, okay, you know what, instead of doing what I'd normally do and just push it to the back and like, try and stay booked and busy. I don't really have an option. Yeah. So I'm going to stay, I'm going to work through things. Uh, I'm going to find different tactics that can help me stay calm, stay more at peace yeah. on the inside. Because at the end of the day, you could literally have a billion and one things going right, but if you're not at peace or, or happy from within, it's all blurry. Like that doesn't mean anything. That's so so true. I, think, uh, I think for you as well, just um, sitting and finding those tactics to, yeah. to kind of enhance those feelings exactly. was very important this year. The biggest thing for me was I don't have to be in a million places at once to get to know myself and be put in a million different uh, external situations to find out who I am when actually a lot of it is just in my head and breaking down those limiting beliefs and those mental barriers that I have in my head um, through experiences that I could have, that I well and did have at home. Um, stop! <laughs> <laughs> yes, girl. That 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 is the key. That it's a hot take. It's guys, a hot take. Yeah, I can't lie. That's it's one of the take. keys of life. I feel. Yeah. Because because I used to think like, no, I have to be somewhere like popping. I yeah. have to be here to be enjoying my. Yeah. But it's like actually when you can find the real joy just by being like at home or finding a small pleasure and going for a walk yeah. or like journaling in the morning and I don't know. You can cultivate. Ha you don't have to be. Because you're in this because, like buzzing environment mm, where you're being stimulated 24-7. It's true. Because home becomes, this is ready, this is like turn up your cringe factor 100%. Home, Get the is, violin. home is inside. No. Home is inside. She said it. Home is inside. Home is inside. And uh, yeah, honey, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> This is something that my sister may not see in herself, but I see in her, uh, is a beacon of strength. Oh, okay, <laughs> now mine has to be good too. Um, one thing about Leanne that maybe she does not know about herself is how aware she is and how able to read her environment and to grow and adapt that she is. I like that. Yes, honey. Thank you. Haya is super, super, super supportive. Uh, sometimes she can be very selfless. Um, and it's something I'm so grateful for because I get myself into the craziest predicament <laughs> of life. Um, and she's always there and she always has my back when it comes to that. She'll be like, if you need to focus on that, that's fine. And I'm going to help you with the other things. And I don't think you realize how helpful that is oh. and how much I appreciate it because it's not easy for you to just quickly step into these situations and I'm super impulsive so I know sometimes it's like you just have to like snap into it and yeah and I, <laughs> yeah basically I that. hear that I hear yeah. that no no and it's so much fun because I like being put under pressure and um, Leanne gets herself in very pressurized situations <laughs> so it's a great union um, for me I think I can I could say the same thing like Leanne has been at every single one of my uh, of my shows for Got You she's always sitting right next to me and sometimes I'll be like hmm I kind of blank and then I'll just like Raise Leanne's mic. I know what she's gonna say. She knows what I'm gonna say. So she just picks up where I leave off and then she gives me time and I jump back right back in. Yeah. 
You're dope. Let's Leon go. is dope. That's one word. Oh, Leon is, oh, I have the best word Leon for you. Leon is fly. Ooh. Oh my god, I've been manifesting like being cool. Yeah, you're so fly. Amazing. Yeah. Um, Heya, one word, and I think it seeps into all things she does. Effortless. <laughs> she's effortlessly funny. She's effortlessly gorgeous, and she's an effortless communicator. And effortless. I feel like that's such a good word. Effortless. That's a great. That's like the peak, <laughs> peak word. Thank you. Like you just got, you just got the juice. Like. Thank you. Is. Thank you. No, I, yeah, I think, I think honestly, Leanne is just so unpredictable in the best way. You don't know what she's gonna say. You don't know what she's gonna do. And I feel like it keeps me on my toes, and it keeps life so fresh and zesty. I hope you everyone. Are. I hope everyone gets to experience a Leanne in their life. Because she'll just, she'll make life worth living. Girl, girl! It's like all these plans, all this fun, <laughs> all these people, all of my friends that I know and love, a lot of them, I met through Leanne. She has a great radar for people, picks up great energies and brings them along for the ride. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't gas her up more. But, but it's the same for you. Like, you make friends so easily. That's why I said, like, effortless with everything. Thank you, Queen. No, so this is the thing. When we were, when we were growing up, yeah, like, we would be, like, like the entertainers of the family and things. But mm. I feel like the, the friendship we have or the sisterhood we have, none of it is forced. I think we just genuinely get along, yeah. if that makes sense. And I don't know if it's, like, a star sign thing because she's an Aquarius and I'm a Gemini. It could and, be that. And, and usually those two signs get along really well. It's true. It's so. true. We, we take from each other. That's for sure. It's a collaboration. Yeah. But anyone who knows us w w can tell you about like our bond as sisters and uh, how we like our dynamic and how we roll. Oh my God, should we say a little like... Um, should we take a little mashallah situation? <laughs> bless us, bless us. We're blessed now. Wherever you are. <laughs>